Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm, uh, looking for my little brother. He's about your height, a little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? Good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take <laughs> it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I... I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it... All confirmed you were dead. Well, Nathan, we killed a god. Okay, so they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. Jesus, Sam, I. Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have come back. Come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you still with me? Yeah. Need some air. You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. <laughs> it's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, all right, all right. Slow down. See? Have a seat. Okay. I wanna hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. So what's to tell? Well, call some of your contacts. They'll tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. <sighs> Crazy stories. Got shot, hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Yeah, that uh, that actually happened. Come on, man, what did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Okay, um, a few years back, I got roped into. Uh, uh, breaking into this Turkish museum to steal this oil lamp, okay? Oil lamp? But uh, it was an artifact from Marco Polo's lost treasure fleet. Kublai Khan's treasure fleet. Yeah. Yeah, and as it turns out, there was a whole hell of a lot more on those ships than just treasure. I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and, uh, we made it out alive. Barely. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's the story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, the engagement ring, the engagement ring. I'm married. I can't believe uh, Elena from the stories. That's my wife. You gotta come meet her tonight. Dinner at my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you, Nathan. I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? The name Hector Alcazar ring the bell with you. Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but uh, the last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Not reading tonight. Sam, I'm not come here. Hey, 
Lisa. The guards. They're singing. Yeah, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> well, I mean, they have wives to go home to. What do we got? Hmm? No offense. We have ambition. Oh. And when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. What will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I'm sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? <clears throat> the opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segment the key. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel. Are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Holy shit. Los demás están en posición. En camino. Todo va de acuerdo al plan, señor. How long have you had this plan? Since the moment I set foot in this place. Samuel, keep up. We're going to have to move quickly. Holy shit. Silencio. Jesus. These men are sadistic. We're doing the world a favor, huh? Here, you'll need this. You remember how to use it? Yeah, it'll come back to me. Abran todas las puertas. Hector, you do that, and you'll start a goddamn riot. <laughs> exactly. Háganlo. Get close, It's working. Yeah, I see. So now what? Estamos en posición. ¿Están listos? Hey, look at the quickness. Samuel, get behind something. What? Why? Just do it. <laughs> you were right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm fine. Samuel, take cover. Samuel, in a minute, you will either be free or dead. Are you ready? Stay back! What's next for Samuel Drake? Ooh. He 
Jesus, what is next? Uh, I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna sleep on a real bed. I'm gonna find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Yeah, it is. So, uh, how long do you think it would take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I uh, get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? It's kind of hard to say until I get started. You said you know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay? But, listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very I solid... At least. Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, 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 hey, take it easy. I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it, okay? I, I just need some time. Let me uncle you. You see, the problem is, I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Listen to me. I will find it. I swear. To you. How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a bad. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. treasure or do something really stupid like go to the authorities oh no and when you least expect it i will be there at that point death is not a mercy i will grant you <laughs> kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise huh. it's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside huh vamos when i find it then what don't worry when the time comes i'll be there to collect when i swear this samuel Uh, let's me go and here we are. This is bad. Well, we just pick up the trail where we left off. And... Wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. Moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? Well, just, you know, tapping into a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Well, is it because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. So whatever's missing from the one in Panama is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi estate. Oh, you know it. Uh, yeah. And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And <clears throat> where are you going to get the money to outfit all the high rollers? 
I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're gonna try and steal it, huh? No. We are. Oh, no. No, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Um, I don't know. Like, uh, anybody? Uh, Charlie Cutter. No. No, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got on that phone with my life, okay? I need you on this one. Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. Hey, hon, it's me. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not gonna believe this. Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Yeah. I know, I know, but, uh... It's like I'm gonna take that Malaysia job after all. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. Looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? I don't know. You sure you don't want to pick up something for your wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right. Simple. It'd be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam, he knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Say Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. Look, I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And, <sighs> no, no, no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. Fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Try to keep your tux clean. <laughs> 